A woman who has taken on the ride of her life is grateful tonight to be alive. She's back home on the mainland while Victoria police are investigating what spooked the horse pulling her carriage, sending it bolting through downtown streets. She is thankful to one person in particular, and she shared her story with CTV Stephanie Sherlock, a story you'll only see here. I opened my eyes and Angel Justin was there, and he just took care of me. Justin Mon Constable Justin Monroe, he truly is is my hero and my angel. He was, she says, like a gift from God. He was right there and comforting me and making sure I was okay. Debbie Menke and her sister were enjoying a relaxing carriage tour when Sarge, the horse who was pulling them, seen here, was apparently hit by a tour bus on the very narrow Fiskard Street. The horse got spooked. My sister and the driver got thrown off and I went for a ride from hell. It was pretty awful. Stiff and bruised, she's reluctant to be seen on camera, but she shared just how frightening her experience was. All I can remember seeing is buses and cars and people coming at us, and I didn't think we were going to make it. Honestly, it seemed like it was miles and miles, and I consciously made a decision that if he ever slowed down enough, I would jump out, and there was no cars around. I was at no risk of a car hitting me, and I bailed. Just moments before the carriage hit a car, putting an end to Sarge's full gallop through the streets of downtown Victoria. Tally Ho, the company Debbie hired, has stopped touring Chinatown for the time being. Sarge was grazed by a tour bus. We are going to reconsider that route now because it is so tight. And if it's true that this uh, carriage came in contact with a vehicle, we obviously want to find that vehicle and, and talk to the drivers as well. So the driver of the carriage didn't suffer any serious injuries, and Tally Ho says she's one of their best. And she was good. She wasn't her fault. Safety is the number one priority, and that's what this incident has um, brought to the surface. For Debbie, it has brought a renewed appreciation for life and those who keep us all safe. I think that people need to know that your emergency personnel in this city deserve huge recognition. Just really thankful that I'm alive because I didn't think I would be. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with more. Stephanie, it brings up some serious questions about the, the big tour buses in the summer sharing the streets with the horses and carriages. It sure does, Hudson. And they aren't really new questions, right? For years, there have been people who say that those horses have no business on downtown streets whatsoever, and especially the narrow streets like in Chinatown. They say that something like this was just bound to happen eventually. And we will definitely have more on this story for you and our, our viewers tomorrow. We will hear from people who support the carriage businesses. We will hear from those who say they should be outlawed. And and we'll hear from the city as well. And I will add too that, um, like I said, Debbie and her sister are, are deaf physically okay, but they are really, really traumatized. And um, she was extremely grateful to the police and the paramedics that assisted her yesterday. All right, Stephanie Sherlock, thank you. You're welcome.